Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am excited for several reasons, okay? First being, hopefully you guys can tell that I am actually filming on a different camera than I usually am. I don't know if you guys know, but my vlogging camera has been taking place of my beautiful DSLR ADD Canon camera. Um, it's been out of business for about a year. So I've been using, like I said, my vlogging camera and it's been nice, but it's definitely been very annoying to edit because I am really particular about sound and I feel like without a mic, you can just hear every single thing going on. And I just, this is just so much better. Like, don't you guys feel so much more connected to me when you have a better microphone? Like, I don't know. I just feel that way. Today we are going to be doing this look here. It is a very like, glammy summer sweat. I don't know what I call it. It's very glam. I mean, I definitely am wearing like lashes that are like tarantulas, but they're really cute. I do want to give um, Anna Luisa a shout out. They are a jewelry company. They're actually going to be sponsoring this little portion of the intro before we get into the makeup look and everything like that. I feel like if you are a subscriber of mine, we're on the same level when it comes to the jewelry that we like. You know what I mean? Like our vibes are the same. So I recently picked up some pieces from Anna Luisa and and oh my gosh, the quality is so nice. It's so luxurious. They're like not light, cheap, like you could throw them around and they would break in a second. Like these are like heavy duty pieces and they're just stunning and they're not super expensive either. You guys know I'm really picky about my jewelry that I choose and wear. I love gold jewelry and Ana Luisa is just so trendy. They have a bunch of pretty gold pieces, which is what I'm wearing on my ears right now. These really beautiful, like wide bulbous earrings, but they're small, but I just like how they're wide. They're so cute and this cuff is just not like your regular cuff. It's like a thick round cuff and a lot of the cuffs I do own are very thin and really dainty, but this one's just really sturdy and I just like how it's a little bit more of a bigger statement than just like my really tiny thin cuffs. And then I also have um, these earrings here which are super cute, a little bit more glam but still like somewhat subtle. I'm constantly in like sweatpants, just like really loungewear -y outfits. Every single day I'm always throwing on jewelry because because when I look good, I feel good. Do you know what I mean? So I definitely had that in mind when I was picking out these pieces. I wanted to give them a shout out. They're also running a sale right now, which is for Mother's Day. Their code is MOM35. So you basically buy one and you get the other one for 35% off, which is really great. Definitely check them out. They're so cute. You guys are gonna love that. So I'll have more information for you guys down below. And if you guys wanna see this look, and my hair look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for primer, I think I'm gonna start off using the Radiant Primer and Serum by Neutrogena. This is a really great, what time is it? Is the sun going down? I'm going to apply this guy. This will just add some luminosity to the skin, which I really like. I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I know I used this in my last video, but I've really been liking this. I use this a lot, um, and I have mine in the shade 07. Pick it up. These are so fun to shape. It feels like workout. I'm gonna apply it with my Sephora Pro Foundation brush. I don't ever need to use a ton of this stuff, which I really love, but this brush just kind of disperses it everywhere, and it's really easy to blend this product in. All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna use the Magic Away Concealer in number seven. going to use my, you know it, my Huda Beauty bronzer. I just love this stuff so much. I'm sorry I use it all the time. This is the Pro Contour Brush by Sephora Collection. So then for blush, I'm gonna use Sunkissed by Nude Sticks, the all over face color. I just love this so much. I haven't used it in a while, I feel like. Or do you guys feel like um, you used it in your last video? <laughs> Which I wouldn't be surprised. This is the Pro Blush Brush. I just got a bunch of these brushes in recently, so if you guys wanna check out the brushes I'm using, you can um, check down below. In the description box, I'll have all the products there. I'm just gonna take a little bit 
of the sun sun kiss on the back of my hand just kind of run it through my bronzer and that little pinky sun kissed look is always so cute i'm gonna use the fenty beauty brow mvp this is in the color medium brown all right now that my brows are on even though they look do they not like this one just looks psychotic oh my god I mean, tell me you guys does this brow look crazy i don't know if you saw my first impressions with the kosas video uh, I think it was my last video. I'm pretty sure this guy was amazing. It's the cream and light It's the color and light cream tropic equinox is the shade Do you guys like I look like a summer sweat. It's so cute but Maybe I just figured out the title of this video Get your summer sweat on without sweating is that like ridiculous? Oh my God, like can you, could you die? Could you die? The best highlighters that I've used, that's a cream. I'm gonna put a little bit here, just spritz. This one is from Laura Mercier, it's the shade Peach. I'm gonna take that same brush that I used for Sunkissed and just pop this on the cheeks. You guys know I always like apply the blushes onto my eyelids. Today, I think we're just gonna keep it very simple because we're gonna do a little bit of lashes in a second too and some liner. Um, the most amazing brush that I have discovered for doing like a shadow eyeliner, you could even use this if you use gel liner, but for me, I love like a dark brown, charcoaly. I was using some other brushes that I don't even think I want to mention because they were just absolute trash. I honestly like don't know how I was doing my eyeliner before this brush. So it's the Sephora Pro Liner number 22 and I'm going to use my Persona palette that I use all the time. Let me know if you guys have a really good brown eyeshadow to recommend because I really like the palette but I feel like I use it all the time. How cute is my nose highlight? There we go. I pulled it in just like a tad. And then I'm gonna take the Ciate Wonder, Wonder Wand Mascara. These lashes are from Velour. I'm gonna link the ones that I'm wearing down in the description, but these are huge, like huge, no? I'm gonna use my Airbrush Flawless Finish. I'm going to lift the makeup. I'm gonna use Radiant Bronze Light from Hourglass. And I'm gonna take this MAC brush and do my forehead just because my forehead just looks extra large when it's pulled back like this. So I'm gonna do this guy. Get this nice and bronzed up. I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer and just get it right into the crease just because I want a little definition. I just feel like these lashes are consuming my eyes sockets. So I just need to like bring them back to life just a little. Hot Gossip from a Charlotte Tilbury, the Lip Cheap. I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. I just used as my second lip liner, Chestnut by Laura Mercier. I'm actually gonna use um, Abu Dhabi or London. Let's do Abu Dhabi. Um, this is just a really nice matte lip cream by NYX. They're the best, they're super lightweight. 
I'm gonna take my little lip brush. This one's from Luxie. Yeah, Luxie. This is the 160 lip. I'll link it below. It's like shaped like a spatula, but it's this a brush. This is the Veil just... Soft Focus Setting Spray. It lens so good. Lip liner I'm pretty sure it's on lip Hourglass's lip website. I don't think it's on Sephora yet, but I'll link it down below regardless. Look at my highlight. Let's just watch this set. It's so pretty when it sets. I know my highlight looks pretty poppin', but like I just have to use this because it's so cute. Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. A lot of you guys always ask me what shade I use. I use 01 Universal, which is their lightest palette, I would say. And I'm just gonna hit it right at the top of the cheekbones. Just to kind of... Like this. I thought that my nose... My nose literally looks like it's the Tin Man. Like, I do like a glow, but I just don't want it to look super, like, that's a little bit more self-focused. I like that. Okay. This is it. You guys, in a second, will see my next clip of me doing my hair. I filmed it before I sat down just because um, I needed to have my hair done. So I'll show you guys how I do my hair right here. So to show you guys what I do to slick my hair back. I'm going to show you guys a few products that I use and it's basically just like three, three different products. And wow, this is like a full on wave of the ocean on my head. So I use the Gorilla Snot. This is basically like a kid's mohawk kind of gel. Kind of keeps everything really stuck together and it's just indestructible. I also use the L'Oreal Paris Owl Knit Satin just because I do have some little baby hairs that are really short and they kind of stick up time to time, so using this really helps. And I just use a really tight scrunchie. You can use like a bungee band or a regular hair tie, but I use um, a nice little scrunchie. And you're for sure gonna need one of these bore bristle brushes because they do really add shine and slick everything back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my hair over and take some of this just to get the back side because I can't really see. So I'm just gonna flip it over and then just start flattening it from like the nape of my neck and upwards. Slicking it forward. Okay, and then I've pulled it so you can kind of see that it's starting to get pulled forward, um, pulled up. Some of the Gorilla Glue here, take some of my hand. It's like a very pasty gel consistency and I just work it into my hairline. Stuff is really inexpensive too. You can literally find it at like Walmart. And then I will take my boar bristle brush and I'll just start to slick it back. You wanna pull it as tight as you can to where you want the bun or the pony to sit. And I basically just do this loop and I will pull this through. Secure it. Like this. Take a little bit more of this stuff and just to kind of finalize it and polish it, you just want to take a little bit extra. And then I take some hairspray, just that added assurance. I'm going to take this and use your hands just to kind of flatten everything out. Okay, the last thing I will usually do is just take some sort of shine mist for the top of my little bun. Compared to how shiny this is, this is like so just really not cute. So I'm going to take um, the hair and body shine mist from Way. This is really intense sometimes, but just hold your breath. <laughs> just looks so much better. See like the shine. And that is it. My little cute top knot bun okay so now that my hair is complete you guys know how to get this like pinned back bun that i do all the time it's like my lazy go-to hair so that is it for today's look i hope you enjoyed getting ready with me um i'm so into this look and let me know if you guys end up creating this look if you share with me on your stories and tag me i can see them so much quicker than i can like in my dms so if you do recreate this look or any of my looks always always tag me and i'm happy to share and repost onto my stories so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye